onto the Broodmother that um, Ursa should be able to swipe the Broodmother down before she gets away. So he has the raindrop, that's nice, but this stick would have been quite nice for him for sure. Well, this time, Marty's going to get caught out. Mira, though, inside the cogs. It's going to be the rotation. Nikki Cool. They're going to try and make a move. What's he got here on the bike rider to try and close that gap? It's only going to be the wind lace. Anything to slow down onto Collapse Collapse. He's not going to be able to get himself away from this one. Nikki Cool, he doesn't even need to use a lasso. He's just going to take down to the Firefly. And Nikki Cool, he gets to the kill. It's kind of what Eastern Europe sometimes brings. Yeah. Um, sometimes we do get the. The straight dive dots. He's gonna have a He's gonna be able to get himself on Sweet and Strong. The Mortimer case is out gonna cut through as well. Tiny so Sweet and Strong will go down. Ethan's from this now as well. He's gonna be able to make flame break with that Firefly into the last row. So they're gonna trade support for support. It looks like Mira. Can he get himself away from this one? He's still taking a lot of damage, but the overgrowth is gonna be used in Crystal Maiden. That's not gonna save his life here. Even with the freezing field, the damage comes out and the troll pops the ultimate. One more right click. No, he's gonna be stunned up. They do still get the kill into the Crystal Maiden. Vitude trying to do his best to keep himself alive, but he was surrounded by three heroes. So he will be taking down a three for two trade here. I love this as well from Team Spirit. They're not even well. They, as I say, I say what I was about to say. I was saying I was about to say they're not smoking up. They're so confident that they're just roaming around the map as three, four heroes, and they're inviting Navi on. But they do come with the smoke now, so they're gonna look for the wraparound. They're gonna be able to get the hookshot train. But the avalanche comes out. Marty, he's still gonna be taking a lot of damage. He's still gonna go down, and it's actually gonna be the Ursa that gets that kill inside the cogs thrown in by the cookie. While this is happening, though, the Broodmother, he's just trying his best to take down this two, two tower on the bottom lane. But Yatoro, he rotates down, cleans up these. Violence again that battle fury pain dividend here and this tier 2 tower i think it's still gonna be a bit of a trap but the freezing field comes out maposhka though nothing gonna be able to get towards him because of those cogs he might still be able to take down lol lol's gonna go down and now can they take down maposhka mira might be the next target as well taking a lot of damage nikki cole trying to do what he can with the firefly that just was off they get the kill onto the two supports and navi well what else can they do? Because Collapse is going for those point-blank Mortimer kisses here now as well. As Ursa, Yutaro, he's moved himself right back up. He gets the kill onto the troll. And Nikki Cool is going to be the next target. So even though Yutaro, he was on the other side of the map, he still gets himself back into group up with the rest of his team. And Rage, Yutaro, though, can he survive through this? It looks like they might not be able to take him down here. Navi, Nikki Cool, trying his best. Chase it on now as well with the Silken Bowler. They do get the kill. The Spawn Spider comes out. It's about... Toss back someone with a tiny hex them and kill them. Or at least get them yeah. low enough. Dude. The hook shot, it comes in point blank. Sweet and strong, he tries to get the blink in, but it's only going to put him in the middle of the Mortimer Kisses now as well. Mira tries to get himself out, but you can see Lal. Can he keep him alive? He's trying to move himself away. The cogs, though. The cookie comes out once again. Lasso onto the Ursa. It's immediately going to fade this Vitude. They just want to fight into this, but the Ursa bird is going to be forced after way. And now Vitude, he's got no target. It's going to be four heroes dead. Only Nikki Cool getting out alive. With so hmm. many ways to reposition quite okay and they're staying here to protect the triangle yeah, Yutaro blinks in. The hookshot comes through now as well onto Sweden Strong. Nikki Cool, he's already used that BKB. Yatoro, what's he going to be able to do here? Because Mira's going to be getting down low. But the Cogs comes out. They take down Sweden Strong. A one for one trade. But Yatoro, he wants to carry on going. The overgrowth is going to be used. But Yatoro, he's going to be cleaning up. Takes down Malady. 8,000 gold difference between the two carries. That's going to be half of the net worth difference between the two teams themselves. And when the, the hookshot comes in, Nikki Cool gets caught out. Split Earth's going to be there now as Yatoro gets gobbled up, spits out, and claims the kill on Nikki Cool. Whatever he wants. And even if you last him you're not gonna hex is something that that can be a problem for <laughs> Look at this. Malady right in the corner. They do get the toss back though. They might be able to get themselves onto the Ursa, but the Ursa just turns around with the Abyssal Blade with that a massive amount of damage here on the Ursa. Link uh, Lotus is being used as well. Mira turns around with the I mean he's still gonna be trapped in for a little bit. So it's a it's a decent defense. The lasso, the drive back now as well. Do they have enough to take down the Ursa? No. The lasso, they've already got the enrage off on Yutaro, and Yutaro's gonna be able to take down Vichun or Izzy. He's still gonna be able to keep himself alive for a little bit longer. Doesn't matter. Three heroes go down. Spirit overrunning this game, and GG is gonna be called. Navi, they give up the second game. 32 minutes in, 19 to 9. And after a great start, they just could not keep up with the Ursa. Uh, I was saying, yeah, Hex might be a problem for him, but the thing is, he had the uh, Titan Sliver. So we're going to see Lal coming up against Nikki Cool on his back rider once again here, Nikki Cool. This time, Lal on the Pangolier. We, we now see it in Spirit and Navi. They just don't want to touch each other. Oh, love this. The mid lane. It looks like Lal. Is he going to go down here? Nikki Cool does pick up the first blood. I love that he waited. He got himself on top with the Firefly as Collapse does get the kill onto V-Tune in the top lane. And is there going to be aggression on the bottom lane? The frostbite comes out now, but there's going to be the toss back. So CK, he couldn't, he didn't actually use the, the Chaos Bolt to get the stone onto Lays. 
That is why Team Spirit are okay by not getting kills. Well, they're going to try and make a dive in onto the Vestige as well. The Swashbuckle comes out, but there is going to be the stun. Freeze and Field's going to be there, and they get the kill onto Lay's Mira. All five heroes from the side of Spirit are down here. Sweden Strong has to run himself away. They have the root onto Malady as well. Malady's going to be taken down, and they get the kill onto Sweden Strong. Can they go even further onto this Nikki Cool? Real okay, but it only drags back onto the IO. Nikki Cool, he's not going to use that lasso. Collapse, big tanky boy. Looking towards finishing off that BKB there as well. So a good rotation. Worse themselves. And that is creating so much potential for Team Spirit to play Dota. Look at this. Collapse, he wants to get in. He's got the BKB this time as well. He's going to use that Tumblr's toy and the trample. Now there's going to be the lasso though coming out onto the Primal Beast. Do they have enough lockdown to kill off Collapse? Collapse. That BKB will be worn off sometime soon. And they do get the kill Lays. He's going to be able to get some revenge. Gets himself a double kill here on the Poshka and Collapse. And it looks like Navi, do they want to chase even? further. There's no overgrowth, but it looks like Yutaro and Mira are going to be backing themselves away. Oh, bottom lane, they might even be able to take down Sweden Swan, str excuse me, Sweden Strong. As the Reality Rift comes in, Yutaro picks up the kill here, and Mira just grouping up with the Chaos Knight. Chaos Knight is online. Vtune could be able to get the kill onto Maposhka. Do they want to go even further, though? The relocate's going to be coming in. This is going to be the Reality Rift. He take down Vtune. He's just straight up dead. He'd already used the Enrage. It was down for another 10 seconds. And they're going to be able to open up the map once again here on the side of Spirit, I guess. You know, he wasn't even going to put up the pre pretense of trying to run away. Vtune, though, it looks like he might be able to turn. No, the Avalanche comes through the Rolling Thunder. And the relocate once again. Vtune, the toss away, trying to tiny, trying to keep his Ursa alive. He's still going to go down. And now Sweden strong. He's going to be the next victim. Four heroes grouping up here with the Frostbite, the drag back with the Reality Rift. He get the kill. And even Collapse getting in on that at the very end. Oh, Navi, they all want to die. They yeah. all want to die. They're coming in. They, they want to try and get something from this, so they might be able to get the kill onto Maposhka. Collapse needs to remove himself away from this. The lasso is going to be there, but Primal Beast, he's holding on to that BKB. And now with the Familiars being dropping, but Collapse, does he want to go in? He's still got the BKB, but the Overgrowth comes out. It stops him mid-charge. Nikki Cool, though, still going to go down. Bit more trample damage, and Lala secures the kill with the Swashbuckle. Now, now lays in the trees. Anything to stop this out this time? Okay. They can't close the gap. That's right, you're not ideal, you know, but in the current scenario, at least you're showing D to your opponent. Oh, he has to use the Enrage Ursa. He, he, he turned himself back to get the Ring of Aquila, and Yatoro, he just took advantage of this, and now the dive's going to come through, but like you say, the BKB down for the Primal Beast, 50, 40 seconds before that's back up, and Vichun, he's going to go taken down again. Yatoro's just running wild over these heroes, the drive back into the Frostbite, the control, the Dream Protector's going to be next, and this is just an absolute run over here from the side of Team Spirit. Yatoro, he's in the base, the Tier 2 towers stand, but he wants to go behind the Tier 3s, they make a move on to, uh, they're going to be able to keep him alive here, it looks like Mira's going to be able to sustain him through this as well. Freezing Field being dropped by Maposhka, three heroes dead on the side of Navi, and now Spirit can back up if they want to, to the 1 and 4 of V-Tune here. The smoke's gonna come out though, they might be able to get the lockdown. Can he take down the Crystal Maiden? The Force Staff comes out and Collapse wants to go in, pops that BKB, the Pulverize comes out, they're gonna be able to take down Malady as well. Nikki Cool, can he get himself away from this? He's popped his own BKB, gonna be able to get the last of the lockdown coming out onto the Chaos Knight, but he's gonna be able to pop the Manta style. And Yatero, can he get himself away? No, Lays does get the kill, and Yatero is gonna go down here. They are starting Winning. to clean it up. Miposhka though, he tries to come in with a freezing field, Collapse is gonna be back in. Can he take down? He's gonna be able to get the trample off, takes down the Ursa, now Collapse. Mira, does he have that relocate out? He's already used it to get in, so Mira, is he going to be going down next? Do they get a full five-man wipe out of this Mira? Just trying to buy time, but there's going to be the blink in the Avalanche to toss back, and now Collapse. He might be collapsing with the damage coming out from the side of Navi, and Navi, there's going to be a really nice jump through here, but the Onslaught's not going to be enough. Is it? Is this going to be enough to keep him alive? He takes down Nikki Cool, Collapse, he's running! He's still going to be taken down, and Lays will get the kill. Okay, and the smoke comes out from Spirit now as well, so we might see 30 seconds left on the Aegis. Yatero might want to try and make something happen with this Marty. He's going to be the furthest one forward, so the smoke is going to break. Collapse, though. He's going to get the drag back. The lasso comes out. The right clicks, but there's going to be the Reality Rift coming through. And now the Phantasm, they might be able to take down Vichu, but Vichu's got the Enrage. He's got that BKB trying to chase down his Collapse. Collapse is getting really down low. The Rolling Thunder just come through, and Yatero, he takes down Marty. They might even be able to take down Sweden Strong as well. They both do have buybacks out of this. He forced out a Phantasm, but again, the Aegis is going to be re claimed and Yatero, he's still going to be really happy with this. Everybody on the side of Team Spirit are still up and they should be able to take down this tier 2 tower in the mid lane. After that stun connected, it was, I think, certain that Collapse was going to survive and the fight was going to go badly for you. If they don't get bursted down, they win the fight. Yeah.
And, well, they might try and make a jump happen here. There's going to be the toss back as well. But like you say, Lyle, he's going to be able to survive the Lotus Orb. He even comes out afterwards. He's going to be able to pop the double damage rune here now as well. Get himself on top of the Tiny. Tiny's caught in the staircase. He's just going to be rolled down and they get the kill. And the Lasso does come through. But again, the Primal Beast, do they have the damage this time? He pops that BKB. They're not going to be able to take him down. And they're even going to be able to get themselves on top of the Lays. And Lays not going to be able to get himself away from this one. Yatsuro gets the kill. They're going to go even further. The buybacks come through from the two heroes on the side of Navi. Can they get themselves into this fight before it goes overboard? And they take down V. Vitune, Vitune's dead. The freezing field, the celebrations comes out. They're going to be able to find the tiny again. The stun lock coming through and they get the kill onto Sweden Strong. Lays, he needs to get himself back in the base but the reality rift comes out. He's going to be silenced. Collapse gets himself on top. The pulverize is going to be there now as well. They're just absolutely cleaning up. GG is called. That was the... Uh... You know, you could say best that Navi can hope for in terms of how the fight is gonna go, uh, how things are gonna develop inside of it. You initiate, you pop the end disc, you force out the rolling thunder, your support dies, you buy it back.